Hey there! Ever wondered about living large without the hefty price tag? Look no further and welcome yourself to Louisiana. Also known as the Bayou State, diverse and fascinating, and is home to rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning natural beauty. We will also discuss the cost of living, job market, and schools in each area, so you can decide where's best for you. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the best affordable and cost-effective places to visit or live in. So just sit back and let's get this started. Starting off with number eight, a town often regarded as an affordable place to live due to its relatively lower living costs called Gretna. Being a major port during the Civil War and the site of several battles, this town is also known for its affordability. The median home rent here is often more than $1,000, and the median home price is $172,000. Median household income here is $54,000, which is less than the national average. Moreover, the cost of essentials like groceries, transportation, and utilities is generally lower. The cost effectiveness can be a boon for those on a budget but potential trade-offs include limited amenities and employment opportunities. In terms of safety, this place has had varying crime rates over the years. The violent crime rate here is 6 per 1,000 residents, while the property crime rate is 28 per 1,000 residents. While the town has taken measures to improve its safety through law enforcement efforts and community engagement programs, this town's reputation as an inexpensive place to live has both positive and negative implications. Number seven on the list is Scott, a good cost-effective place, someone seeking a frugal yet comfortable lifestyle. The town's economic advantages have made it an attractive destination for those looking to stretch their dollars without compromising on essential amenities. As talking about the affordability, the median home rent here is $1,600 per month and the median home price is $242,000. This, coupled with a relatively relaxed pace of life and a strong sense of community, contributes to a desirable quality of life. However, this city does have some notable cons too. The town's job market may not offer the same breadth of opportunities as larger urban areas, potentially requiring residents to commute for employment. And the median household income here is $61,000, which has constantly been increasing from the past year. In terms of safety here, the violent crime rate is 535 per 100,000 residents and property crime rate is 2954 per 100,000 residents. The schools are also not as highly rated as the schools in some of the more affluent areas, but still, it is a great option for people who are looking for a cheap place. However, if you are looking for a city with a lot of amenities and cultural attractions, this may not be the best choice for you. Coming up on number six is Ville Platte, a small city in Evangeline. On the positive side, the city's cost of living is notably lower than many other places in the state. The average home rent hovers around $900, depending on the size of the place, and the median home price is $109,000. The median household income here is about $35,000 to $40,000. While the lower cost of living helps, it's vital to consider employing opportunities before moving. Additionally, the city's crime rate, while not excessive, but still demands the attention when evaluating its livability. The crime rate here is 698 per 100,000 residents, slightly above the national average, and most of them are property crimes and occasional violent incidents. This place is located in the heart of Cajun country, with plenty of opportunities to enjoy the outdoors, like fishing, hunting, and hiking and this city does not have as many amenities as larger cities, so if you are looking for a variety of restaurants, shops, and entertainment options, you may need to travel to a larger city. As seeing its cost-effectiveness, this can be a great option to retire, but it's important to be aware of the limited job opportunities. At number five is Abbeville, a nice city located in the heart of Cajun country. 
This city is a pocket-friendly place with an amazing historic downtown, which I will tell you about in a bit, but before that let's talk about its affordability. Notably, the median house rent stands an affordable level at around $900, allowing residents to secure pleasant accommodations without stretching their budgets. Additionally, it has a median home price of $169,000 that remains below that of numerous urban counterparts. The modest median household income here is $43,223 while potentially seen as a drawback, contributes to a balanced cost of living. However, it's important to recognize certain constraints as the employment options within the city might be narrower, motivating some residents to seek employment in larger nearby cities. Also, the crime rate here is 53.84 per 1,000 people, in which most of them are property crimes, such as burglary, larceny, and motor vehicle theft. Its downtown is home to a number of historic buildings, including the Vermilion Parish Courthouse, the Abbeville Opera House, and the Vermilionville Museum. Next up on number four is Opelousas, a small city in the southern side, with a population of about 40,000 people. This place is often considered a cost-effective place to live with its distinct blend of pros and cons. On the positive side, Opelousas boasts an affordable cost of living, making it an attractive choice for budget-conscious individuals and families. The median home rent here is $1,300 per month, and the median home price is $214,900. This affordability also extends to other aspects of daily life, such as groceries, utilities, and entertainment, contributing to a sense of financial ease for its residents but the median household income falls around $40,000 to $45,000, depending upon its different areas, with poverty rate of 37%. Additionally, the city has a moderately high crime rate as 3,869 per 100,000 residents, which could be a concern for those prioritizing safety when choosing a place to live. Aside from that, it's home to a number of historical sites and museums, making it a great place to learn about the city's rich history and culture. Number third on list is Crowley, offering a unique blend of advantages and challenges that define it as a city. On the positive side, Crowley's affordability sets it apart as an inviting destination for families and individuals seeking a cost-effective lifestyle. The average house rent typically ranged from around $600 to $800 per month, and median home price stood at $158,300, and the median household income is hovering around $55,000 to $60,000. Label of being a cheap city may sometimes come hand in hand with limited amenities and employment opportunities. The city might lack some of the cultural attractions and economic vibrancy that larger urban areas offer. This can lead to potential challenges for those seeking diverse entertainment options or higher-paying jobs. The city has high crime rates, as there is a 1 in 20 chance of becoming a victim of a crime, either something violent or related to property. There are also a lot of festivals and events throughout the year that celebrate the area's unique culture. At second spot of the list is Mangham, the town's namesake and publisher of the Richland Beacon News newspaper. This quaint city boasts several noteworthy advantages that come with its reputation as an economical haven. The low cost of living is undoubtedly one of the major pros of this city, allowing residents to stretch their dollars further. This affordability extends to housing, with a median house rent of $650 that is significantly low. Moreover, the median home price is also relatively budget-friendly at $180,000, making homeownership an attainable dream for many. While Mayhem offers attractive financial benefits, it's important to consider the potential drawbacks as well. The city's affordable nature might come with trade-offs, such as limited access to certain amenities and services commonly found in larger urban centers. 
Employment opportunities could be fewer compared to larger cities, potentially leading to longer commutes for work, which is responsible of low median household income of $33,000. The crime rate here is 3,686 per 100,000 residents, which is also high. But still, it is a small town and you can be easily safe with some precautions. Moving towards the end of the list, coming at number one is Bastrop, another hidden gem for its affordability from this state. Here, the cost of living is notably lower compared to larger urban areas, allowing residents to stretch their budgets further. The median house rent here is $610, which is very much low as compared to other places of the state. Additionally, the median home price is also relatively affordable at $113,900. However, along with its affordability, there are certain drawbacks associated with this city. While the lower cost of living can be a boon, it may come at the expense of limited access to certain amenities and services. However, the limited job opportunities and lower median household income might offset some of these advantages. As with any location, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons according to their unique circumstances before considering Bastrop as their new home. And there you have it, a budget-savvy go-through of the state. From affordable living to unforgettable experiences, you're all set to make your mark in the Bayou State. Each of these picks presents a distinct opportunity for those seeking to balance their budget while considering their desired lifestyle and personal circumstances. Every place has its own pros and cons, but the most common con is being not having good job opportunities, so always do your research about the place before moving. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any update from us. Until next time, happy and safe travels!